What's up everyone, this is Coindog here with another GTA video. So in this video I'm going to be um, explaining to you curb or curb boosting, depending on where you're from and how you spell it. Um, so I'm going to show you, firstly talk about what we see people do, and then I'm going to show you some tests that I've developed as to why people are doing it and what the benefit of doing it is. So if you've ever been any in any you know races or anything like that with more experienced drivers, you will from time to time see people... Um, weaving on and off curbs as you'll see in this little demonstration here so you can see all of them they're all heading over to curbs and weaving on and off it and it's not because they're drunk or you know they're inexperienced drivers they know what they're doing and it's being done for a performance reason so what I've done here is I've developed some tests to to kind of show you the the actual benefit of doing it and why it would improve your racing if you started doing it as well so what I've built here is a, is a full mile long drag strip um, it's exactly one mile long and the chest, the um, checkpoints are positioned a quarter mile at a time. Um, and so th in this one here I'm just going to drive the Tempesta straight down it. Um, I'm not curb boosting or anything like that. The Tempesta's fully upgraded by the way. Um, and we'll see what time we get from doing this. Um, said without any curb boosting or anything like that. So the time that, that that's done it in is uh, 18 seconds 0.534. So just remember that number. So in the next test, um, what I've done basically is I've pre produced a track that's going to exaggerate the effect, but it, it's easier to explain what's happening and show you what's happening on this type of kind of circuit. So what I've done is on the same drag strip, it's still a mile long and all that sort of stuff, um, but I've put curbs all the way across the track um, just, just to, to show you what's happening. So if we go to the side camera here, you can see how the suspension is bouncing up and down on the wheels. Basically all those little bumps and, uh, and bounces, they're just giving you a very small little speed boost. Um, and all those little speed boops obviously add up to a, to a big improvement so that got a 15.961 so that's two and a half seconds quicker than just driving straight down the thing without any any sort of um, curb boost effect um, so this next one here is what I used to do before I did the te this testing so you'll see some people aren't especially on these sort of tracks and what they'll do is they'll just get over on the curb like that and drive on the curb not weaving on and off it just driving along the curb um, and what you'll find by doing that is there is a performance increase but it's not as good as doing the proper weaving on and off so on this one we got um, a 18.149 so that's about three three uh, tenths of a second quicker than not not doing anything at all so you know it, it is an improvement um, and then this last one here is the full curb boost effect so weaving on and off the curbs um, so this will show you the exact benefit that you will get if you start doing this in races and it doesn't have to be the stunt stunt curbs you know you can do this on the curbs of Los Santos any little bumps that you can find in the road that create the a bounce in the suspension will give you a speed boost of some sort and the other thing to remember as well is this works better on some cars than others so by doing that one there we've um, did a, a 17 0.116 so that's 1.4 seconds quicker than not doing any curb boosting at all so just on a one mile stretch you've seen a 1.4 second improvement by just weaving on and off the curb I, I ran these tests a few times each just to, to see if they were consistent and the numbers varied by you know a couple of thousandths either way but it, it was very very close so I, I think the the testing is relatively reliable um, so I hope that's um, that's been useful for you and shown you the benefits that you can get from doing some curb boosting. Um, it takes a little bit of practice to get it right, but when you do get it right, you will see big benefits from it and you will win a lot more races. So that's it, guys. I hope it's been useful for you. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow with my 100 sub special video, so make sure you subscribe to pick that one up. Um, thanks very much for your time, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.